There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi gang, it's Guru Bob, and welcome to day five of the 30 day challenge. I'm back again to do another Market Samurai video, and this time I'm going to be talking about a new feature that uh, will be released to you today. So when you open up your Market Samurai, it should ask you to update. <clears throat> and after you've updated, you'll find that there's a new module available called Finding Content. Like the SEO competition module, this module is, uh, is going to be part of the paid um, modules that will become, um, that will require payment to sort of, for you to continue accessing them after 40 days. Um, and it's brand new, it's only just been released. Uh, it's still in a very early development stage, but most of the functionality is working. And um, the Noble Samurai coders have assured me that they're gonna clean up um, any sort of remaining bugs over the next couple of days. But it's, um, it's, it's so cool and uh, it offers such great sort of functionality at this stage of the day challenge that we wanted to get it out to you as soon as we could. Because it is relatively new, if you do have any problems or any issues, please please uh, raise a ticket um, on the noblesamurai.com support help page area and the noble, Sam the noble Samurai guys will get back to you as quickly as they can. But without further ado, let's take a look at the, uh, the software. Now at this stage in the 30 day challenge, we're on day five, you should have hopefully found a micro niche key phrase and within that micro niche, there might be several keywords that have passed your traffic and competition criteria. You should have yesterday found um, an affiliate product to promote if you don't already have a product of your own that relates to your niche. And in finding that product, you should have um, either signed up for an affiliate program uh, and got an affiliate link, uh, or if you already had uh, an affiliate account, then at least acquired the link to that product. Um, and Dan showed you how to generate some a small amount of promotional copy in relation to that product and, and to grab a picture. Now today we're going to be looking for content um, in relation to your micro niche keywords and we're going to be asking you by the end of the day to have five to ten sort of relatively short articles that you're going to be able to use throughout the remainder of the 30 day challenge to populate both blogs and websites in order to, um, to get some ranking for your keyword and also to build some backlinks, put the point back to your main ranking vehicle which um, which you're going to be finding out about on day six. So uh, this video is just to show you how Market Samurai can help you find content and Dan will be doing a video on uh, showing you sort of more ma manual methods for finding content if for whatever reason um, you haven't been able to get Market Samurai to work for you or, or it's not suitable uh, at your location. So I'm going to open up um, my existing project which is the guitar project and my or our main key phrase micro niche key phrase is vintage electric guitar so at the beginning I want to search for is see if I can find any content that is specifically optimized for written around the phrase vintage electric guitar so I'm going to click on find content here and at the beginning I'm just going to look at easy articles which is the big daddy of um, article directories and we're also going to look at Google blog search. <clears throat> you, may, um, you may find that uh, there's not very much content on either of those platforms so you might also add Article City uh, and Technorati. Go Articles is working reasonably well. There are still a few little issues about Go Articles. They tend to be very sensitive about um, mass searches. So uh, my recommendation is that you only use Go Articles as a last resort if you're unable to find content anywhere else. But I think you'll find that uh, you should be able to find a reasonable amount of content using these other options. And you can click here the maximum number of returns that you want uh, the software to find in relation to those different platforms. And we click on Find Content. Market Samurai will go out and scan those, um, those content sources looking for um, content that is uh, relevant to our phrase vintage electric guitar. So you can see that um, 
Market Samurai found one easy article which uh, which contained or included the phrase Vintage Electric Guitar and 10 items on Google Blog Search. <coughs> now at this stage we can click on the little down arrow here to have a look and see what exactly has been returned for each content source. So we can either look at easy articles or we can click on here and look at the um, items that came back from the Google blog search. Now if, let's say if we want to explore the, the article, we seem to have yeah, an article with uh, our keyword in the title, which is a good sign. If I click on that, um, Market Samurai will go and get that article and load that into, into the interface here. And we can we can scroll through that icon, we can read that, and uh, eventually, uh, by the, certainly with the release that you have, um, you'll either be able to save out that article as a text file, save it out as in HTML format, or copy that text to the clipboard. Uh, in the case of both save as text and copy to text to clipboard, all of the HTML will be stripped out, it'll just be plain text, but the, obviously the HTML version here will be um, will include any HTML sort of tags as well. Now, so far, this is fairly sort of standard. I mean, you know, you can do several of these searches, you know, using by carefully manipulating the, um, the search platforms. <clears throat> but the difference between Market Samurai and doing a manual search is that having found some content of interest, it, it's useful to us to find out the, how much content authority that article actually is. And I define content authority is the you know how many backlinks that that content might have that article has, um, whether it has any page rank, um, how old it is perhaps, and also uh, how many times the article has been used by other people, and that has now been indexed by Google, so we can actually find it uh, in the um, in the Google search returns. Now we can very easily get a sense of that by clicking on the Analyze Article button here on the top right hand corner. And um, Market Samurai will go out and it tells us that um, the article has a page rank of 2, so it's, it's obviously got some authority. It's got two backlinks. Uh, it was written in 2006. And as far as uh, Market Samurai is concerned, it has found that article 15 times. Uh, elsewhere on other websites in Google, which means that um, other uh, eZine owners or other websites have taken this article from eZine articles and published onto their website. And that's then been indexed by Google, so Google now finds uh, 15 different uh, occasions where it finds this article. Now I will say from the outset that um, the Noble Samurai coders have done a reasonable job of trying to uh, do the searches to find out the number of index counts. And it works pretty well for articles. Uh, for blogs, however, it's much, much harder because um, the blog has a lot more information on, 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 the, on the page other than just the text in relation to the content. And it's much, much harder for the algorithm to sort of identify unique um, content, which it can then go and see how many times it can find in, inside the search engines. So certainly for articles, you know, that's a reasonably, you know, um, strong indicator, but for blog posts, that might be a little bit harder and a little bit less relevant. But it's still a fairly strong indicator of uh, whether any other website owners have seen any value in this content and have published it on their own websites. And that's, at this stage, that's what we're trying to achieve. So we can, um, at this stage, go back to the, uh, the the main sort of listing here, and you can see that that uh, content authority information is now being uh, published next to the article. Um, all right, well, there's only one article there. It's a pretty good article. It's obviously reasonably well optimized to our, our keyword. So that might be an article that we might want to put aside uh, to form some background material or research material when we go out there and prepare our, our own articles. And Ed is going to be uh, doing a video today which will show you, give you some tips for um, writing articles based on um, research material that you might uh, find using the Market Samurai Finding Content module. Now if we have a look at some of the sort of um, the blog returns here, so this is using Google Blog Search and you can see already that um, it looks like some content here from, from our own uh, 30-day challenge is, has already been indexed and found by Google because it's coming up um, in the Google blog search. So why don't we go and have a look and see what that um, what that is? And indeed, it's um, 
it seems to be from our forum. And uh, it's definitely a discussion about, um, looks like it's a discussion about my day one video. Now, obviously, um, not being in an article format and only having relatively small amounts of content that are actually keyword specific, probably when we click on analyze article, it's going to be much harder for Market Samurai to do an accurate search here and indeed, you know, it really can't, <clears throat> it really can't differentiate uh, that. So if you see it come back a thousand plus, it means that, um, you know, it's found, it thinks that it's found a thousand references to this. Now that is actually not the case. It's probably that it's using, you know, um, it's tried to, to find bits and pieces of content off this uh, forum page here and um, it, it's not particularly unique and therefore it's found it many times in the Google indexes. But as we would have expected, no PR, no backlinks and July 2008. So it's, um, it's relatively new as, as, it, as we would expect. Now uh, with blog content of course, um, we're going to get all sorts of things. We're not going to necessarily get large amounts of content. And indeed, for vintage electric guitar, we're seeing a lot of listings for um, for people, you know, trying to sell vintage electric guitars. Yeah, um, because blogs don't have a defined format, Market Samurai tries to represent the uh, the content in the most efficient way in this interface. Here, it's removed all the CSS formatting of the blog. And we're getting a lot of the content elements from that blog, and obviously some of the pictures. But um, you know, it's it's much less uh, attractive and 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 well formatted as as the articles. Nevertheless, there may be some useful content here that you might want to pull pull aside and save out to a text file or copy to clipboard, which you might want to then compile in a document so that you can use that for your own research. Now, obviously, um, in a situation like this we only have a relatively small amount of content, um, really only one article, that is optimized for our specific key phrase here, vintage electric guitar. So if you find yourself in that situation where there's only a relatively small amount of content, then um, obviously you can search uh, on some of these other platforms and, um, um, and, and um, you're welcome to do that. But what you can also do is uh, perhaps go up to a slightly higher level where you're still, your keyword's still relevant but where there might be more likely to be some returns. So I'm going to go up and do a search on vintage guitar because it's obviously highly related to my main key phrase, vintage electric guitar, and see whether I can find some content um, on those same platforms uh, which is uh, optimized for that slightly broader keyword. And indeed this time I found eight articles in Easy Articles. Which, uh, which is um, obviously much better. <clears throat> um, we've got an article here about vintage guitar collectors, how to buy a vintage guitar, so someone uh, writing an article about, um, about someone that's looking to acquire a guitar, and a guitar about a specific type of, uh, an article about a specific type of vintage guitar, Gibson guitar, and about vintage guitar collectors. So there's a whole heap of um, um, of articles that are very are highly related to, to my niche. Now, I can always click on here and go and look at the article itself, but if I just want to get a sense of the content authority, then I can just click on Analyze Article here, and Google Summer, uh, Market Samurai will go out and get that information. Now, um, this particular collector's article has been indexed seven times, so the article's been used um, on seven different websites, has no PR and no backlinks. So, it's quite old to 2005, so not, not a particularly high amount of authority. Now, I, I don't recommend that you go and click Analyze Article on all of these articles, just the ones that you think might be, um, might be useful to you. And it's not active in this pre-release version, but eventually you will be able to sort on any of these content headers up here. And as an added bonus, hopefully the release that you will see, um, there will be a new column here called PC, which stands for Phrase Count. And that will tell you how many times your keyword, in this case vintage car, is found in that in that content. So again, telling you how, <coughs> how closely the um, the article is optimized for your target keyword. It, IC stands for index count, which is the number of times Market Samurai has found that article in the Google index, and then page rank, backlinks, and age. And by having sorting this, you can obviously find the articles that have the 
highest content authority. And why would we do that? Well, obviously articles that have the highest content authority um, has a, a number of um, confirmations from other website owners that have found that article content valuable to the extent that they've prepared to build backlinks to it and or use it on their own websites. And uh, the higher page rank it has, the more that Google feels that that content has, has relevant value as well. So the more content authority an article has or some blog content has, the more useful it might be to you to act as research background for your as you write your own articles in this niche. And uh, just before I finish, um, if we're looking for and searching for articles that have the highest content authority um, as research, I wonder whether there might be some value in looking also for articles that have the lowest content authority. Hmm. Might want to have to have a think about that. There might be some value there. That's it for this video. Uh, your job on this day is to find as much content as you can in relation to your what your selected micro niche keyword, and ultimately to prepare five to ten, you know, three to five hundred word articles that you're going to be able to use throughout the 30 day challenge on the various uh, web publishing activities that we're going to be showing you how to do. Good luck with that, and I'll talk to you on day six. There is no charge for awesomeness.